Okay. This is a 2 tube regenerative receiver that I've worked on. The uh, construction details and design details can be found on my blog, which is uh, linked into the description for this uh, YouTube video. Basically, it's a 2 tube regenerative receiver using a 1T4 regenerative detector and a 3V4 uh, audio stage. Uh, those two tubes were uh, introduced in around 1940 uh, for battery uh, portable sets. Uh, the filaments are a volt and a half and three volt filaments, so they're nice to run off of flashlight batteries. Plate voltage is only 45 volts, so the uh, tube showed up through the 40s and into the mid 50s in, in, in uh, things like the Zenith uh, uh, portable uh, shortwave radios, uh, uh, radios during World War II, the, uh, the handy talkies they used during World War II, that sort of thing. Controls on this, volume control, regenerative detector, regen control, and you see the uh, regeneration is, is fairly uh, uh, smooth. This is antenna uh, coupling, uh, usually it's just a set and forget. Uh, it gets used if, if signals tend to be too strong to overload the regenerative detector. Right now it's tuned to 40 meters. Uh, the, uh, this is a band set, so it's set once and forget for the particular band. Uh, the, uh, this is band spread. Essentially it covers all of 40 meters. Let's see what we hear here. Just a sample of how the regeneration control works. Okay, it's no longer an oscillation. signals on the band today. By the way, normally I use this as a headphone set. This is a uh, little mini amplified speaker that I uh, got to go with my uh, um, QRP ring. So I plugged it in here. Uh, what you're hearing is the audio from here and the microphone that's on the camera. Let's see if we close the data stuff on 40. Let's see if we find any sideband signal. This is the uh, CW signal around uh, 7125 or so. Moving further up the band. West Virginia. on 40 meters here tonight. Well, let's head on back down to the seat.
Yeah, this this uh, this dial here is about four turns from zero to 100. That covers all 40 meters. Uh, band spread is uh, okay. You know, it's not great, but it's but but as you see, it's good enough for for what we're doing here. And there's no regeneration oscillation there.